It was their first home, their dream house. It was on the land that we wanted. It had uh, the basement. It had the fireplace, everything. But a hidden problem in the walls caused all of this damage, and they claim the pest inspector is to blame. They moved forward with the purchase of this home, and now they have a house that is a piece of crap. Tonight, help me hang tracking down the pest inspector who gave the house the all clear. What a nightmare. How did he miss thousands of termites that have since destroyed part of the home? Here's consumer investigator Hank Winchester. What happened inside this home is really sad. The homeowners are now going to have to spend thousands of dollars to make repairs. They wanted answers from the pest inspector, and so did we. The image is hard to even look at. It looks like a bomb went off. The damage in this home, extensive. What caused most of it? Termites. Aaron Soulier is a combat veteran. He and his wife, Kirsten, applied for a VA loan once they found what they thought was the perfect home in Pinckney. It was on the land that we wanted. It had uh, the basement. It had the fireplace, everything. But as soon as they started doing a little remodeling, they noticed a big problem. Bugs, termites everywhere. I started crying. Uh, he started cr like almost crying. I mean, I was just, it made me sick to my stomach. But how could that be? They say as a part of the loan process, they had a pest inspection. That was performed by this guy, Jeffrey Wilhite, with Absolute Pest Control in Howell. And when he inspected the property before closing, he said there was no pest issue at all. If them termites have been there, let's say 20 years, mm -hmm. then the homeowner didn't disclose it on their paper. And the, and the inspector. So how would they not know it? And, but uh, the other key point to that is that the pest inspector, you, did not find them during the inspection. No, as the report says in any no, no, areas. No, 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 no. If, I did not if find you them. you say that, yes, exactly. Okay. You did not find them. Yes. That's what they want to hear. Months later, a different inspector from Orkin filed this report stating a professional pest control company should not have missed that adding this level of infestation likely takes three to five years. Clearly something wasn't done properly. No, I'm no, not no, going to no. admit That's that. Not, no, you, you're going to admit it because Orkin says that they went in and any professional, their words, I Orkin, any professional should be able to have found the problem and you didn't. And either did the home inspector. How come the house? It's not the home inspector's job. You were brought in specifically to look for termites. That was your one job. At that moment in my inspection and doing the outside treatment around the house and looking in the structure, I did not find termite activity. We did some digging and learned, according to state records, Will Height's business dissolved in July of 2015. He failed to file the proper documentation. He hasn't been licensed since 2009 and check out his criminal past, drug and impaired driving charges. He was also busted driving on a suspended license. He was on probation when he performed the inspection for Aaron and Kirsten. They were unaware. They're considering legal action and getting help now from the VA and must decide whether they will spend thousands to repair their home. They wanted to share this story, hoping others don't ever have to deal with a similar nightmare. It's our first home. It's I, I don't even have any words. It's heartbreaking. And a story like this one shows you how important it is to pick the right home or pest inspector. We have tips from the experts to help you make that decision. You'll find it all on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Back to you. Boy, that's tough. It really is. Yeah, all those dreams. Yep, yeah. Yep.